Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to work with advanced document properties on the Mac MS Word. And here's how. Working with advanced document properties in Microsoft Word on a Mac allows you to manage metadata such as title, author, keywords, and custom properties. Here's how to access and edit these properties. Accessing document properties. Open your document. Open the Word document you want to work with. Navigate to properties. Click on the file menu at the top of the screen. Select Properties. This will open the Properties dialog box. Editing Standard Properties. Summary tab. In the Properties dialog box, go to the Summary tab. You can edit the following fields. Title, the title of the document. Subject, the subject of the document. Author, the name of the person who created the document. Manager, the manager associated with the document. Company, the company associated with the document. Category, the category of the document. Keywords, keywords associated with the document for easier searching. Comments, any additional comments about the document. Statistics tab. The statistics tab shows statistics about the document, such as the number of pages, words, characters, paragraphs, and lines. Advanced properties. Custom tab. Go to the custom tab in the properties dialog box. You can add custom properties here. To add a custom property, enter a name for the property in the name field. Select a type, text, date, number, yes or no from the type drop-down menu. Enter a value for the property in the value field. Click Add to add the custom property to the list. Saving and reviewing properties. Save your document. After editing the document properties, make sure to save your document to apply the changes. Review properties. To review properties, you can go back to the file menu and select properties to ensure all the information is correct. By managing advanced document properties effectively, you can ensure that your documents are well-organized, searchable, and contain accurate metadata, which is especially useful for collaborative work and document management. That's it. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.